Dow's underperforming because Dow DuPont and to a lesser extent Microsoft on the earnings situation. We're getting what I continue to call lumpy earnings, very uneven, uh, but particularly on the global industrial and material names. Just want to point out again today some big material and Global industrials had some rather poor 2019 guidance, and that's what we care about. They're rolling out the 2019 numbers. So you see Dow DuPont, uh, Raytheon, Northrop Grumman uh, generally had uh, rather poor guidance for 2019 full year. That's what's moving the market. A number of companies have affirmed essentially metrics for 2019 or roughly in line. That doesn't necessarily mean your stock is going to go up on anything. So we had Celgene, Microsoft, Hershey's, United Parcel Service either talk about 2019 and affirm or in line or talk about certain statistics, but you could see very uneven uh, response. A lot of it depended on what the current quarter, the, the past quarter comments were, or a comments on the global, uh, the global markets in general. The trends right now, we're in an uptrend on the S&P, folks. Seven, eight week high now, highest level since December 6. Uh, emerging markets are in an uptrend. Bond yields are just saw from Rick are in a downtrend. The dollar's in a downtrend. Gold's at an eight month high. Uh, markets are getting pricey. If you want to have something to worry about, and I, these are the things I think about. Uh, we're at 16 times 2019 earnings. That is great if you're last year and you're trading on 10% earnings growth in 2019. That's not what we're doing now. We're talking, the debate is 0% or 5%. That's, it's hard to argue that this is a 16 times is a good multiple when you're dealing with 0 to 5% earnings growth. We've got targets that are already close to full year for a number of, of strategists already. They're at the 2800 level. So th that's a problem. We've got optimism on the Fed, optimism on trade and even the global economy, but the global slowdown hasn't gone away. I think Dow DuPont had a very sort of bland, but uh, right in the middle statement here, we expect global economic expansion to continue in 2019 at a moderately slower pace than 2018. We continue to closely monitor macroeconomic and geopolitical developments, including ongoing trade negotiations and the pace of economic activity. That's sort of what most corporations are saying. Not horribly weaker, but you saw comments from Caterpillar indicating generally uh, the slowdown is very real. Last day of the month here, and boy, what a January it's been, folks. <laughs> this is the best January we've seen. I have since 1989. If we close at these levels, we're up almost 7%. Seventh best January since 1950. Finally, just want to know, we finally got an IPO. New Fortress Energy should open today over on the NASDAQ. A lot of back and forth on this thing. Uh, below the price talk. But the important thing, guys, Carl, this is the first real IPO of the year. We're expecting about 160. We could do 2,000 numbers. We could raise a lot of money this year, depending upon how the economy goes and the stock market goes.